Hello everyone! Welcome back to Where Evil Lives, Camp Firefield. Oh, it's been a little bit! When we last played, our our uh, intrepid adventurers were in a fight in, in one of the layers of Camp Firefield with a shit ton of hobgoblins. One of which... Probably jumped goblins. into a fire and summoned a portal to another layer of Camp Firefield. So the party followed them through, fought a bunch more hobgoblins, and a different hobgoblin on that layer went through another different portal and has since fled into a further layer of Camp Firefield. But, in good news, the party did face off against one of the three death captains that they uh, were seeking, uh, killing said death captain and claiming the skull talisman from him, one of three that they are looking for. Um, unfortunately, the party's been fighting for a long time. Uh, many of its members are battered and bruised, and in that last fight... Kira went down. She is now up, but she is still severely injured. Um, no memory and there are enemies ostensibly alerted ahead of you. There were enemies that you left behind you to chase the enemies that you battled into this lair. So the party finds themselves deep within Camp Firefield potentially with enemies on all sides. And now I need to know what the fuck they want to do. So, that's it. Your turn, players. I guess we basically everything's going on. great. Yeah. Why, like, you don't even have to, why would you even say that? Like, it's, uh, we all know it. Like, it's just going very, very good. It's like, going fantastic. Let's take a quick review. Guy is at 35 out of 60 HP. Battle map, Ar please. Artorius. Oh, right. Um, oh, God. Fucking roll 20 did that thing. Uh, there you go. Uh, Guy is at 35 out of 60 HP. Artorius is at 12 out of 36. Dolly is at 52 out of 82. Lindsay is at 38 out of 51. Nimdare is at 35 out of 72. Lily is at 31 out of 48. And Kira is at 8 out of 64. Oh, and Sif is barely injured. Sif is at nope. 63 out of 64. <laughs> Sif's just hanging out. Sif's just hanging out, yeah. So. What do y'all want to do? There is a... The portal... The portal back from whence you came is still open and the portal leading deeper into Camp Firefield over by the forge is also still open. <laughs> I will say to the people who um, were right around that area when it opened and the hobgoblin uh, jumped through, they activated the forge via some sort of like pendant that they were holding that was very akin to the one you used in the uh, desert area. And that fell from their hands when they jumped through, much like the other one did as well. So uh, is this the one to back to the camp? That is the one back to the camp, yes. And then this and is this the is new is forward. one. That is the one forward. Okay. Okay, are we in turn order? No. Okay, so I can just heal with reckless abandon. Oh, we killed everyone in this little area. I think we should hop back and kill the people be behind us. Well, are we certain that the, the portal's still going to be there to go forward when we come back? Yeah, don't we have the little pendant to activate it? Well, I'm sure of nothing. <laughs> this guy was doing shit, right? Oh, no, he died. He, he died. You killed him. The one who was doing shit hopped through the portal. And he was also the one that opened this portal? Nope. You chased one from the camp into this area, killed that one, and then a different one from this area opened a new portal and jumped through. Okay, which is the one that we chased in here? Uh, the one right next to the portal down there. 
All right, I, I go rifle his body for some sort of talisman. Okay. You uh, you go rifle, no investigation check needed or anything like that. Uh, you find a bunch of like small little knickknacks and things like that, little uh, uh, fetishes of bone and little vials of what look to be like congealed blood, a little satchel of what looks to be like petrified eyeballs, question mark. Um, but you find nothing that looks like a talisman. Uh, many of you were around the bonfire when that individual jumped forward uh, into the flames to open the portal. And you'll recall, right, like, they picked something up from the embers and held it aloft as they were opening the portal. But that thing did not go through with them. Oh, okay. It's like every other one. It doesn't go through. That makes sense. What does that mean? What's your aha moment? I don't know what that means. Every other thing that we've used to open any of the doors, it, it always stays behind at the other door. So, like, you can't get locked out if you're on the other side. So, uh, if we go back, then, we have to, like, we have to find that thing, whatever the thing is. Yeah, it'll probably be there. Or, you know, in the fire or on one of their corpses. That's my guess. Oh, yeah, that's also what, a thing. If we, we go, back, if we go back to the portal, we're yeah, just going to go back into a bonfire. Into the bonfire. <laughs> yeah, we got to go back into a bonfire. Not it's up to y'all. I vote that we long rest here because at least we're like we have a tent that we can somewhat defend. I think we should heal up. I you think mean we should the, long the rest. tent that has a massive hole in the back of it from yeah, Dolly the we, and then the, yeah, the hole fine. in the side of it I from Nim Dare? Yeah, okay, okay. A cave opinion. tent that has an open side. I don't, I don't really feel like long rest is on the table. Short, maybe. Didn't we yeah, I don't know if we're going to get away with, like, eight hours uninterrupted. Yeah. Uh, so the the general kind of, like, homebrew thing that I do, Lily, is is uh, I allow two short rests per long rest. So uh -huh. y'all have done one already, so you oh, could so do could another do one. Um, and the only reason that really exists is to kind of, like, help balance around some classes mm -hmm. find short rests really beneficial, and some don't. So that's okay. the only reason that really. I cast a spell. I need a short rest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't or, know what class that what, is. Is it action surge? I used action surge. I've got a short rest. Short rest. Yeah. Yeah. Did I use action surge? What do you guys want to do? I don't know. No, I didn't. I'm down to to short rest. And of if course, right? Really like the pro rest. and con there is is long rest will get you back everything, right? But yeah. Long rest versus just... short rest is one hour versus eight hours, and it's are you going to be yeah. able to get eight hours down here versus can you get one hour down here? Yeah, I guess run... I just have wait, wait. campaign PTSD You're where sure. we never could get sure. a long rest in ever, and so if we can. I will say absolutely <laughs> right now, right? Like, uh, from a general standpoint, I do not run campaigns where you can't long rest. <laughs> but depending on where you are, your chances of a successful long rest will be higher or lower. And you can always take precautions to try to increase that, right? Like, um, obviously... Like we have a dollhouse. We have Dolly's, Dolly's house. Dolly's dollhouse only lasts for an hour, but oh. using it will almost guarantee that your short rest is not going to get interrupted. Because who the fuck's going to find it, you know? Okay. Did Real quick, did somebody already jump through that portal? Uh, the southern one? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, a, a bad guy opened the portal, jumped through it. So they're ahead of you. Well, uh, so, so even if we take a short rest, we risk just like a pile of dudes coming out of that now. Yeah. At any time. Uh -huh. Sure, but if we go backwards, right? Like, we go back through the other one. They come through that portal, and we're going to be gone. We're not going to be there. Yep. Or, if you hide the house, who's to say they'll find you? Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have the house. <laughs> what is the house again? Is it an it's a doll dimensional house. thing? It's a dollhouse. It's, a little, it it's a little dollhouse that you can... 
sh shrink everyone down and go inside of. Oh, so we're just really little. Yeah. It doesn't like hide or disappear or anything. Yeah, like there's that. no there's little. no magical concealment or anything like that. But if you put it somewhere and make it hard to find, and then shrink everyone down and go inside. Alternatively, you know. if somebody does find it, there's <laughs> little mini me inside there. Well, they they also kind of have to be like, <laughs> what the fuck is this dollhouse doing here? <laughs> you know, like, yeah, they're not going to roll it. up. Look, unless... there's these little people in here. Yeah, <laughs> if they're, if, you know, if they start poking oh. around. But you can, uh, it, it, it is a feature of the dollhouse to be able to abort um, ahead of time, right? So it's not a guarantee. It's just a increased in chance. I'm kind of digging the idea of uh, using hiding the dollhouse and uh, getting a nice rest in. Okay, well, okay. That seems like a good idea. All right. We got to scope out a, a place for the dollhouse. Okay. Did we like... Like, building... Incept it, like, put it in the tent? So the the tent building, right, um, is kind of a, uh, it's an equipment tent, right? So there's this little stone forge down uh, south of the tent. There's a bunch of crates around the tent. Uh, inside the tent are a bunch of wooden shelves filled with, um, you know, short swords and scimitars and spears and some smaller uh, kind of like not full suits of armor, but like greaves or um you know elbow guards those types of things um and then uh there's obviously the corpses of the hobgoblins that you've killed here uh and other than that it's a it's a pretty clear open area there's a big stack of wood um over near the forge and and that's that's pretty much what is in this little space So the ripped up part of the the tent, there's I'm sure there's gonna be like like basically just like a mini tarp, right? Uh, of what's Yeah, I mean there's there's kinda like debris and cut open portions of the tent. Yes. You could probably And two like, of the shelves were kind of smashed to bits, one by Dolly charging through and one that Nimdare basically like cut a portion of the tent over and then kicked the shelf to the side. I imagine we could, like, use splintered wood and maybe some of the, like, carp as, like, a like a lean-to that's pushed in the corner that we can put the house behind. I mean, alternatively, we could dig a tiny little pit and have, <laughs> like, make some shit to, like, cover the top of it and just, like, make it out in the fucking yard <laughs> somewhere. Dig a little have like, like little, have like little ant holes to go down to it or something. Yeah, like it wouldn't take long to dig like a like a like yeah, a the, square I mean, foot the, hole. The right? house is only like this big. Like it's, it's it's like anything that we're gonna spend a lot of time disturbing, right? Like if we're gonna put a bunch of wood leaning against the side of a tent, or there's like a fresh dig spot. You don't think somebody would investigate that when they're coming in expecting to find We got somebody. a bag of holding somewhere. Put all the dirt in there. <laughs> yeah, but you have to cover it up, right? I don't know. That's where <laughs> a high survival skill comes in. Huh. I don't think I have that. <laughs> no, I, I've got average survival. Well, never mind. It's not zero. It's Hey, non-zero is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, how tall is the the ceiling on this thing? Can we put it on top of the thing and they'll never find us? It's about it's about twelve foot tall. It's a pretty tall. Jeez, ceiling. yeah, that's out of yeah. Is it slanted? It's is not. It flat? It's not just like a I'm going camping tent. It's a military structure, right? Like this is this is intended to be out on like it's here now, but they could just as easily take it out of Camp Firefield and put it on an actual battlefield. So what you're saying is that we could all get in except for Lindsay and he can get on his broom and fly us up in the rafters and put him up in the rafters and then off his broom and into the house. Yeah, very potentially. 
Y'all want to try that? You want to try to get like up in into the the top portion of the tent? There are little poles that run across as kind of like support structures. You could like like. Okay, so it's going to be really be evident it. though. Like there's something up there weighing it down. <laughs> They're talking about long resting in the enemy stronghold. No, no, no. Now no. keep in mind the the dollhouse only lasts for an hour. So this would be a short oh, rest short in the rest. dollhouse. Okay. All right. I guess I, I was... There's, it's just it. the concept of using the dollhouse to grant more safety during your short rest. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Whatever y'all want to do. I would just put it like... I don't know. What about this little debris pile over here? Just like throw it over there. Debris prop pile? What is this? Oh, those are wooden, wooden crates. I don't even yeah. see that. Yeah. I would put it in a crate. There's a stack of wooden crates on the other side of the, the tent. Let's just put it in a crate. They're not going to be like, oh, they're probably hiding in this small crate. <laughs> There's like seven of you just all in one crate. <laughs> that's that's the plan. I think the crate's probably the best move then. I agree. All right. Great, 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 great. Yeah, everyone agrees, great. Right, great. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Dolly goes and puts the crate or puts the dollhouse in the crate. Yeah. Um, and it, if <laughs> you could, you could pretty easily situate it to where all of your bigger members get shrunk down first and go in inside and then your smaller members like either Lindsay or guy are the last ones in so they can put the top of the crate back on you know and i was thinking yeah we would like to do that okay um hey uh Lily, before you go in, can you kind of like sweep up the area and make it hard for them to tell where we went as far as getting to this, this, this crate? There's not a bunch of lights. All the steps, all the footsteps go to this crate. Yeah, and they just disappear. Do that. I can try. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Roll me a survival check. Ah, it's not my strong suit. You're a ranger. What do you do? I slide of hand and stealth, but that's oh. an okay roll. It seems pretty Great. Good. You're, yeah. you're a thief I mean, wannabe you're, ranger. You all, <laughs> yeah. for all that we've been talking about this for like, you know, 15 minutes, you all in the moment are like, okay, we need to rest. L let's find a quick spot within the next minute someone finds the crates and is like okay let's let's put the dollhouse in the crates so this is all happening relatively rapidly and a 16 is pretty good for you know less than a minute of all right we're going to the dollhouse okay get, just just a second patting down earth making it look more natural not disturbing all of the footsteps because it should look like there are some footsteps in this area right because this is going to the main entry of the tent so you do a pretty good job for a, a rush job um jump get shrunk down jump into the dollhouse everyone else is in the dollhouse guy or Lindsay, who who is going to be the one to put the lid back on the crate uh i will Sure. Okay. Need a robot. Why do you Why do you make that sound so sketchy? I don't know. It why did sound sketchy? sketchy, didn't it? He, he made that sound like something bad's yeah, gonna happen. Person putting the lid on. This decision is important. No, no, no I'm not sure I want to do it. <laughs> well, I want to do it. Well, I have incredibly high nature, so I make the crate look very natural. Well, <laughs> great. <laughs> It's a it's a very pretty vine covered crate now. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Um, you all you all situate yourselves in the dollhouse in this crate. I'm gonna say I need a volunteer to roll me. Now you're all gonna die! Yay! I'm gonna say because of the dollhouse because of the um 
hair to cover your tracks, uh, etc. I'm gonna say, who's my volunteer? For what? Uh, yeah, any more details? What am I offering my Lily's body up to? hands raised. Lily, roll me a d20. Oh no, so oh, no. <laughs> roll me a d20. Uh, you you already agreed. You do not want a one. Oh, oh easy God. peasy. Not gonna happen. There's no way. Oh, did you see it hover the net? It was rocking yeah. on that 20 for a second. <laughs> Over the course of the next hour, uh, you are able to undisturbed um, rest, bind your wounds, uh, use any um, hit die that you may have remaining, uh, and get back any abilities that you would get back on a short rest. Um, Lily, how many hit die do you have currently? You have six? You haven't used any? Okay. I am going to, going forward, Kira is going to have the I same have number of hit die as you do. When, when you use some, she's using some. She's at eight HP now. So she needs to use... Like shared? No, not shared, just automatically, okay. right? Like, cool. just the concept of rather than tracking hers separately, she's just going to use them when when you use them, right? Okay. Um, okay. So she has 8 HP right now. She real hurt. Yep. Yep. Do you want me to roll those or are you rolling? Uh, either way uh, that you want to do it. Uh, she okay. has a D8. So up to you. Oh, a D I have a D10. Ignore that roll. Hold okay. on. Okay. Well, you should be healing yourself as well. Good point. Yeah, I should. Probably. So you should take that seven. That seven's pretty decent. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Him dare. And by that I mean I'm out of dice, so it doesn't matter. Oh well, that I'm also out. works. I am completely tapped on hit dice. I cast mending on Artorius a bunch of times, so this will help. Okay, seven. <laughs> She has a plus two, so she gets nine. Okay. Okay. Man, what kind of ambush is going to be waiting for us? Six. So plus. I mean, we, they, we know they have casters. There's just going to be yeah. a whole bunch of guys yeah, just they're, sitting they're, there, they're, like, they're just going to be like four, this. Just like, plus what do you think was going to happen? Okay, she's at 31 out of 64 right now. You want to keep going? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of health. We need an oh. anti magic field Twelve. zone. That would make the freaking house not work. It would just become a big house. Fifteen. <laughs> we should drop a house on them so <laughs> through the four. portal. That was four, four dice. I think that was five total because I counted the seven up above as well. Oh yeah. Okay. Let then let's let's do five. So sh should I do the one more dice that she would have? Uh, well, you're. It's up to you, right? Cause you're you're not gonna be able to short rest again, so you're probably not gonna have an opportunity to use that dice yeah, again good. without long resting. So let's do it. Doing it. Another three. Okay, so another five. So she is up to forty-five out of her maximum of sixty-four. So not quite topped off, but definitely significantly good. better than she was doing. Yep. Well, all right. So here's the thing. Like, I can, like, help top yeah, off, but it's going to take spell slots. You don't have any potions or anything? Oh, actually, I do. I, do I was going to say, I thought you bought a bunch of potions exactly for this purpose. You're normally the potion boy. <laughs> right, 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 right. All right. I really wish I could see HP values. I don't know why you can't. It's set. I'm sorry, I keep saying that. I'm, it's not to. a criticism. No, I, I feel you. I I just. I don't know. Uh, Maybe. so I know Kira was super low, and you said that Dolly was under half. No, Dolly's good now. I'm good. I'm good okay. now. It's just Kira, I think now. Everyone else is good. Uh, if you don't mind telling me how far she is from Max. 
She is 19 away from max. Uh, all right, here. I will give here give her uh, 2d4 plus... Four. I will give her two regular pots of healing. Roll them. All right. Did I make a... Hey. Oh. I did not. Roll. 2d4. You beat a boy. Plus four. Ooh, ten. Very nice. There we go. And how what wait, how much did you say Perfect. she was missing? Exactly. Perfect exactly. She is at full. Nice. You're not at full. Ella. No, I'm not at full. Do you have any more I'll hit, have two hit, hit dice? You only had two hit Oh right, you used more earlier. You gotcha. know what? I should uh yeah, I'll drink. You you drink? I wanna drink. You drink, you drink. And that's it. One I'm four shy. I'm battle. Do not worry about drinking a potion now. That'll do it. All right. Um, so you're able to spend the next hour uh, in the kind of you know, smallish dollhouse. It's a good, good couple rooms. Gives you some space. You don't always just you all. You don't all just have to be in a single room uh, bleeding out together. It's that's good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also don't all have to be in Team a single room out. with Sif, who is sitting. Walks into the dollhouse, uh, does not give a shit, um, walks directly into the center of whatever the main room is, lays down, and is just smoldering. The dollhouse is magical, but you can, you can smell the wood underneath Sif kind of like beginning to sizzle and burn, and then magically repairing itself continuously. To where there's just kind of this constant acrid stench, both from the brimstone of Sif, period, but also just this kind of like wood smoke that's coming out of where oh, he's man. laying. Oh man! Imagine if the house was made of Excellent. cedar. That'd smell amazing. Uh, it's not, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Kira, uh, after chugging a few potions and taking a moment to bandage herself up, uh, feels. A little bit better uh approaches uh kind of like comes back into the party uh and seems a little like down um she apologizes for uh being a the way she puts it uh being a burden for falling in battle for getting smoked for getting smoked yeah <laughs> it's all right kira it happens not to me, but it does happen. Oh, it's gonna happen oh. to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, if we're if we're playing a CRPG or a Fallout or or whatever, right? Like, <laughs> Kira did not like that. You you immediately see above the head the Kira will remember that scenario, <laughs> right? And not in the not in the concept of like she dislikes you for it, but she thinks lesser of herself because yeah, you don't go down. But she oh, does. shit, I messed up. Yeah. <laughs> but you can you can see her a little little sad about her but, her listen, Kira, potential inability. Just so you know, the damage you took was directed away from us. You made a <laughs> sacrifice. Wait, and... are we what? I, I'm I'm not one of us. No, I meant us. Damn. She's included in us. Damn. God. God damn it. All what right, this is the last people? time. <laughs> what do you mean, God. you people? You people. Uh, let's see. Actually, uh, you spoke up. Roll me a persuasion check. I want to roll a persuasion. I, I'm, I'm, I'll take it back. I said nothing. Are you, are you sure about that? <sighs> That's up to you. Uh, wasn't someone keeping track of natural 20s with Kira? Uh, no, someone was keeping track of natural 20s with Sif. Um, Lily, I need you to just find a spot on your character sheet and say, uh, log, Kira, natural 20 persuasion. On my character sheet? Yeah, just somewhere noted on your character sheet. I will right. also note it, but with both of us noting it, it's less likely to, to be forgotten. 
that was also my second uh, success on skill rack. Nice! Yeah, I need one more. Now let's crits count for two. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, so... I mean, I, I do kind of like that concept, but... No, no, no. no. I'll, 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 I, I might the... change it later. I'm not going to change it now. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Lindsay, your words are delivered in enough of a heartfelt way, right? Like, maybe you're not the best with words. Maybe you, you know, say the wrong thing when you mean a different thing. Whatever the case may be, but maybe kira is just especially vulnerable at that moment what you say to her seems to have an effect and she breathes deeply and her shoulders straighten a little bit and she kind of nods and she she looks more resolved than she did previously good i'll be right so, wanting to go out um your hour comes to an end you know in a short amount of time, the dollhouse is going to kick you out automatically, right? Because that's how it works. Uh, mm -hmm. So it behooves you to figure out a order of operations on you exiting first instead of just everyone getting, like, spewed out at the same time because the dollhouse timer ends. How do you want to do that? I'll um, go first. I'll jump out. On the broom. Oh, okay, you can jump out. And if, you know, I'll... Like, and if, if something happens to be around, I, I at least have the mobility to get away. All right. Like, can, can we hear things outside the house? Or is it like a... No, well, yeah. But you're also in a box. With the lid on. Right. What, what baby? Sorry. But it doesn't Yeah, like, I'll do that. I'll leave first. It's not a pocket dimension or anything like that, so it doesn't, like, deaden the sound on the other side or anything. So you're going to pop out on the broom and... I'll pop out on broom and, out? like, fly out and see if there's, like, anybody around. Okay, now are you coming out of the house... And then opening the crate top and then shooting up on your broom? Or are you coming out of the house on your broom through the no, top I'm not, of the crate? I'm not just going to fucking, like, explode out of there like, a, you know, the the end of the Jack, of, Jack in the Box sound. Music. You are? You're going to do no. that? You're no, just... no, no, I'm not doing that. Nope. Okay. If, if I can quietly open it, I will do yeah, so first. Sure. I, I, I'll try to get a peek. Roll me a perception check. A little looky look. Perception. Go. I was a 24. 24 is pretty good. Okay. You take a peek out. Hear nothing in the immediate vicinity. You see no one in the immediate vicinity. But as your eyes are kind of like scanning out through this cracked crate lid. Um, you do see footprints that were not there when you had gone in the crate. Um, so there has been someone here while you were resting, but they did not find you, and they do not seem to be here anymore. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'll also peek outside the tent real quick. Or, 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 or did you mean like... I mean, of us. So, so your 24 basically look. gets you, you you look around and then yeah. you also like come out, okay. fly yeah. around the okay. area seems to be clear. Alright, I'll, I'll come back and inform everyone. Alright somebody was here but they didn't find us. Crate was a, crate, crate job was good job. Crate great job. job. It was good. good. Okay, very good. I'm gonna hop on the broom. All right. Well, I guess let's all hop out. All right. We roll out. Okay. Roll out. Uh, everyone pops out of the crate. Dolly uh, gathers oh. the dollhouse back up. Um, you do see that the 
portal going deeper into the um, campfire field is gone. Portal going back out is still open. I bet that's how it always is. It's so like, how did they open the like portal? It's like going in forward? and out of Canada, right? Like from the US. You could get into Canada really easy, but I guess that's the opposite. Getting in in this place is the hard part. Getting out is the easy part. Yeah. All the doors lock from the from this side, not yeah, that all, side. Yeah. All right, well, cool. Do you guys want to go and kill everyone above us now, or do you want to continue down? Do we consider yeah. subterfuge correct, or subterfuge... Portal, the portal's gone. Like to continue the murder spree? I mean, they're they're an evil hobgarbin... Hob, hobgarbin... 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 All right. You know, Nimdare, I am ready to do some more murder. Let's go forward. How do we open that portal? There's probably... Uh, I mean, like, you know, they, they always, like, they rummage, man. So, you know, take, take a look. Okay. I start rummaging. Uh, the... They're at the top of the forge just above like head height is a little circular um indentation and you can see the pendant that was used to open the forge is back in that slot there you go we did it it's a pendant we found you it successfully proud of you so good at this. it's like the it's like the place where you're always supposed to put your keys so you don't forget them. <laughs> and then proceed to not put them there and lose them anyway. Well, you know. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we got the, the pendant. So let's pop this portal open. Let's go do pop some more murdering. Murdering. I'm ready. Wonderful. Alright. You, uh... Liberating freedom. You pop we the portal are, open. The portal liberating freedom. Is that what you just said? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you said. The par the portal gives that kind of like silvery bluish sheen. It does the whole like kind of like sound scenario as it kind of like tears mm -hmm. open space, uh, and it just sits there awaiting for you to jump through. I love space. We tearing. leap through. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, I've already left. It's too late. No, no, no. I've got a potion of invisibility. <laughs> I could check it out first before we go and get ourselves nuked by 20 mages holding fireball. Well, we're already going straight into a fire, right? That'd be a super long time the, to be holding. The fire spells. is back the other direction, and I thought y'all were going forward. Sorry. I, yeah. uh, that's probably the case, yes. No, now, like, it, like, I don't have to do this. We could just jump in if you want. Or I can go make sure. And in fact, I don't even have to be the one to do it. Anybody can do it. I'm sitting yeah. I'm holding my potion of invincibility, shaking it. <laughs> he says. Drink it. I'll drink it. I'll freaking do it. I'm, I, that's me or I'm offering it to anybody. I guess All it would right. be well, since I'm a Halfling. I do not feel particularly sneaky, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Actually not I'm not very sneaky either, am I? I'm an anti sneak. Well we I'm should probably send the thief wannabe ranger in. I heard someone say earlier that she was He's sleight of hand ranger. and stealth. So, I am you know. I am. I mean that doesn't mean I'm gonna roll well, but I should be sort of better done. than survival. Okay, I okay. I can uh, I can attempt to stealth through. I don't. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. So Lindsay, gets yeah, do in it. My heavy armor. Oh wait. Chunk 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 chunk. I forgot. Jesus, heavy, heavy armor. armor. Why are you in heavy armor? What? How do, you, how do you even have heavy armor proficiency? It's it's better than what I had before. What do you mean? Don't ask me. 
Why have, have you done, done this? Scare me? Why? I don't remember, but it's, I am heavy armor. I don't remember, oh. but I know it's been like this for a while. It has. This is why we didn't send me in, because I am heavy armor. <laughs> I now have regrets about this plan. <laughs> I mean, fuck, might as well send me at this point. What right? Is the armor? If that's if, if we want to send anybody. Uh... <clears throat> oh, it's scale mail. That's what it was. I was like, what heavy armor are you wearing? How did you get heavy armor proficiency? Are you just operating at disadvantage? It was, it was, so. uh, for whatever reason, we got this armor. And okay, it was so, better than the armor that I currently had. And I don't yes. remember why, but it just was for stats for me but to be attacking. you proficient in heavy armor, so I just don't understand how I think we just overlooked it. that scenario. I have a feeling that just slipped through the cracks. Yeah, that probably just slipped through the cracks. <laughs> you know, if you guys could remind me the next time we're in a city and I can go buy something, I should probably go buy leather armor that's better. <laughs> nah, at this point, I think you have to commit to it. Yeah, it's I know. What is, it's a personality is it, is it just Is it just regular scale mail? Is it, is it not like, it's not like special or anything like that? I don't remember. Because I it's not like I went out to find it. I think I plundered it from one of our things. Hmm. Plundered it, you say. Plundered. So you can never oh. open spells because they just saw the portal open. Oh, it was one of your it was one of your treasures. Wasn't it? I don't remember. I don't have I, my lily notes don't have it. <laughs> the lily notes. Yeah. By the way, Tiny, Cassandra, did you guys plan on matching today? Was it like a choice? Or is Not it just like... Me. She might have done <laughs> This is just what I found. You guys look cute. Thank you. I also think it's aligning. Mine's more of like a maroon. Oh, I guess okay. it's like maroon too. I don't know. It just looks so cozy and matching. I like it. I like to match. Yeah. Alright, sorry. Last page in a moment, though. I did not. I did not. Charlie can't fit in here. He's too big to hide in here. Okay. This isn't the gold dragon scale mail bracelet someone else has that right no i have that okay i was gonna say i'm i'm pretty sure i think this is just regular scale mail for, but it, for whatever reason it was the if, better stats if for that's attacking. the case why don't we just retcon this and put you in some leather armor? <laughs> I, mean, I i think i i had or have studded leather you can just have it yeah let's just do that. that good good yeah yeah i just have it on me you can just have it if I switch to the leather, yes. doesn't that make my attack go down? No. You're, it In fact, be. it will make it technically better. Yeah, technically it should have been. Should go technically, up. they should have been worse, uh, but no. Uh, okay, so like I can I can click on my leather armor. Well, you're going to want uh, studded leather instead because it's going to be a little bit better. So let me yep. drag that over to your... Okay character sheet real quick. You got it. Dotted leather. Alright. And we will... Okay, so it is now equipped. So you went from 16 armor class to 15 armor class, but you don't have any of the penalties that you should have had for scale. Yay! And, and so that you don't have nice disadvantage. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's try that again. Uh, Lindsay, you're giving Lily a potion of invisibility, right? Yeah. I'm okay, giving so Lily a Lily potion. Lily can drink the potion, be invisible for, oh, what is it? Why do I need to stealth anyway? Like, well, I because you still to... have to roll. So, so, the potion of invisibility just makes it where you can't be seen, but you could still be heard or smelt or felt or something like that, right? So, the stealth check will be for those things rather than sight. 
Or right. there's the opportunity that some things can see invisibility, but if you're just too fucking stealthy, they'll they'll just miss you. You know, that type of thing. Gotcha. Okay. A twelve. <laughs> At least it's not like you know, oh, yes. hearing armor chung chung chung. It's chung, not chung, too on. bad. Um <laughs> Everyone, I'm assuming, is relatively gathered around the portal. As relatively, uh, Lily chugs the potion, goes invisible, goes through the portal. Lily? Mm, darkness, darkness, darkness. Cold. Me. And then poof, out. Oh, I forgot I can't see anything because I'm blind. You can't see oh, shit. <laughs> I, oh, no. Uh, sorry, I will say, I will say yeah. you should be able to see something because... This is somebody with dark vision. God damn it. <laughs> um, sorry, guys. Sorry, no, not, not No, that's, uh, that's on all of us. <laughs> Some of these we may have made a mistake. <laughs> at the very least, exude a bit of light. So... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. There's bad guys. I can't, I'm talking to myself, huh? Because nobody's with me. You, you are talking to yourself. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, okay. There's a lot of bad guys. Can I? I'm still stealth, right? Well, you, yeah, you're you're stealthed up. You come through a portal, and you can see it's it's again, it's difficult to see, but much like the previous area, the portal that you came through seems to be behind some sort of tent structure that is directly to the east of you, and around the flanks to the north and south of this structure are a gathering of hobgoblins <laughs> as yeah, if they are uh... waiting for an invasion coming <laughs> further into Camp Firefield. Okay, so I don't want to go far, okay. but I want to move up like just a little bit to see if I can see anything over here and Feel... then the same thing to see if I can see anything over here. Feel free to just kind of like step up, step down. I can see nothing. <laughs> I nothing. Oh god, I don't want to lose the portal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't see anything. Okay, well, I'm going to go back through the portal. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, and I am going to let everybody know that there is... You what? all suddenly hear a disembodied right voice. There was like 12 it's below. It's Lily's voice at like least. 12 above... <laughs> And they're waiting for us. <laughs> Great. I love that for me. On either the left or the right when you come out of the portal. And I can't see anything else because I'm blind. And I can't see in the dark. <laughs> what do you guys think? You think we can just like go straight into an ambush and win? I learned a trick I mean... in my time in Draw City number three. Is there anything have we can skin. do to maybe like bait out the ambush or <laughs> yeah, yeah I have skin. the water skin I'm just telling you we just throw a water skin through guy yeah you think that'll be the trick yeah guy I roll do. me an intelligence check okay um, I activate maximum intelligence mode activate Oh, God. It's, been, it's been activated. <laughs> what's weird to me... You really noted. Is, what's weird to me is that they were, like, right here. Like, staring at the portal? Right? Is there, like, a wall or something along here? It's just... It's just... Oh, it's, the, just a it's all area. of the same map, but, like, the different layers of Camp Firefield are, in theory, different pocket... I see, I understand. But I yeah, like, you you all have just been yeah, dancing right across here. this map. <laughs> yeah, they're right there. Yeah, there's <laughs> there's just a little buffer right there, but it's a different location. Okay, sorry. I was really confused. No, that's, that's fine. That's where 
I'm gonna buy those goggles so hard. You can buy them so <laughs> hard. Yeah. So now I have like two things I need. I need the dark vision goggles, and I need. Oh no, because I now have leather. We're good. I don't need to go buy the leather. Okay. Well, um, guy racked his brain and came up short. What if we throw I, like I ain't got shit. Throw let's bodies like, through? Yeah, let's just puppet the bodies through. Oh no. I feel like that's a... Is that like an intimidation tactic? Yeah. I mean, if they're all whole, sitting there like holding, get ready to do stuff. We're going back to war crimes. This whole adventure is a war crime. <laughs> it's not a choice. It's basically war. <laughs> we are at war. <laughs> One never-ending war crime. Yes. What yes. do I have? I like. I, it's starting to look like our options are either to go home or jump into the trap. Yeah. And how can we better prepare for the trap that we're jumping so into? The, so, anybody got any preparation when, when they were over there, did, were they sitting there with like crossbows ready? Like, what yeah, were, they what were. They were armored and ready. Okay. Because I well, saw well, the portal be made. They did all right, let's grab that. these crates, and well, we're just going to walk through with all these crates up to eat all the arrows. Keep in you mind. know what we could do? Oh, can we use the house again? And I'm invisible. I can take the house in on the broom. House can only be used once per day. <laughs> yeah. Keep, keep in mind, the, if, this portal, if this portal works the same as all the other portals that you have gone through, the portal that you come out of is always active. Right, because the portal. Oh, the so portal, they don't know that. Yeah, we so the portal, portal up here has never gone away, right? That's that whole locked door concept that Zach and I were talking about, right? Oh, like going forward is you. hard, going back is easy. So the portals going back are just always open, but the portals going forward to get deeper are locked, right? So there, there wasn't any big hoopla when Lily stepped through the portal on their side. Otherwise, if they were holding things, they might have unleashed those things. It was invisible. People be yeah. trigger happy, bruh. You you hear a noise when you're you're holding on to a crossbow? You're not gonna shoot? I mean, that would be irresponsible. Uh, they're pretty disappointed. Very irresponsible. They are pretty All right, well, that I'm going to go and start gathering bodies. And you're going to gather, gather some bodies? Oh, my gosh. I, I propose oh, that I go through because I'm still invisible, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You're going to be you invisible. Guys... That's like, what, Wait. 10 minutes? Oh, my gosh. This is perfect. You guys, I will start shooting maybe, like, <laughs> up on the An top hour. side. An hour. Hour. Jeez. As long as she doesn't do anything hostile. Yeah, as long as you don't attack. As soon as she oh. attacks, it's gone. Oh, I thought it was forever. Yeah. No, it's, it's... I was so excited. I was like, I get to be the invisible archer right now. It's invisible as long as you don't do anything bad. <laughs> if you do anything oh. mean, you're no longer invisible. <laughs> well, is it really mean? Or well, is it just they war? think it's mean. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I was gonna say that I can go through and just start attacking them. You could go then... through and find a position so that whoever goes through isn't alone when they go through. Um, but yeah, so you can definitely okay. go back through. It's just a so I could go through and then get in position, and then the signal for me to start shooting will be when you guys come through and they see you. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna throw these bodies through first, though. Okay. okay, maybe they'll shoot the bodies. Is the plan the to immediately <laughs> run in after the bodies? Yeah, we, are we to follow within six seconds? Yes. Yeah, um, we'd have to. That's what it... Okay, then Lily might want to go wait, through wait, wait, prior wait, to that. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe I go through first. Okay. I'll go L through first. Lily, you going then... back through the portal? Yep, I'll go back through the portal. Okay. Hold on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll go back through the portal... And get into a good position. I don't know what that position's gonna be. But oh my gosh, this just won't work. Hold on. Let's do this. 
and then we'll. I'm just right. blurry. I'm really blurry. Sorry. Uh, oh, and so blurry. Nimdare, Nimdare has gathered bodies. Are you gonna throw multiple bodies through, or are you just hucking one through? I'm gonna huck one through. And which one of these is like small? How much strength you got? How far are you throwing that guy? N none of oh. them are small. I'm they're strong. All, and, yeah. They're all your size. I've got 20 strength. God damn. He's he's strong yeah, as baby. AF. He is a oh, yeah. he is a ripped king drow. He is a drow bodybuilder. Wait, 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 wait. So so in the last adventure you were a thin lithe <laughs> yes. wielding drow. He and did this a time, bunch of steroids. He did a shit ton of steroids. Between... He got big. <laughs> Yes. It's called magic. Look it up. He did a bunch. Uh, he snorted a bunch of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, I did. Shot up a bunch of ketamine and. No, not a bunch ketamine. Of, I, a bunch I of steroids. I spent the whole month and a half doing anabolic steroids and magic. Snorting magic. Snorting magic. <laughs> it was like two days before we went no, back. No, <laughs> not when you're snorting magic. Oh, okay. When you're snorting gotcha. magic, it, it's a month and a half. So, yes, he was snorting cocaine, you're, is basically what you're saying. <laughs> Got it, got it. Look, all right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw one through, and then I'm going to carry another one like a shield. And I'm shield gonna and go in. in first? Okay, sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Everyone, right. everyone, I think if this is the plan, everyone needs to be in position around this portal. I, I inform Sif and Artorius to both grab a goblin as well in their mouths and hold them forward like shields. There's only one extra. I'm throwing the other one through. Yeah, other, only one extra. There's yeah. I mean, there's I guess they can carry it if they want, but I just, I, you know, I want to, like, get them there. to all shoot their crossbows. There are four maybe. dead goblins. Oh, JK, then. They can carry them. Yeah, we're going to grab some, some extra goblins and use them as uh, doggo shields. Okay. Uh, are there any, like, mages or ranged ones that I would, like, particularly latch on? Like, a big, bigger looking guy that I would latch on to here? Uh, let's see what you see. No, kind of the issue, as we go through. Oh, good. Kind of the issue for you, Lily, is that mostly the individuals to the north um, are only lit by this front line of soldiers. There, there seem to be mages or healers or or some sort of more like less armored individuals behind them but you don't know how strong they are you haven't encountered them yet right to the well, south you want me to light one of their clothes on fire and throw them through so he's like a beacon like he's a torch <laughs> no i mean that could be a thing to the south uh you see a similar composition but you also see that smith um that hat that you all had attacked and hurt severely standing there too at the ready um and that smith does not look injured anymore <laughs> he took a short rest too i mean you know makes sense i'm uh sorry for marcher okay. before we jump in um, i think i'm gonna stay up on this one side uh um, well these guys are i can see him a little bit better so okay maybe I'll... Like Are you lighting here. up one of the bodies, Nimdare, as a as a beacon? Yeah, whatever. The one I'm gonna throw through. Okay. I light it up. Are you gonna throw through the body of the mage or the body of the death captain? Mm hmm. Flaming death captain flies through the portal. Yeah, I'm gonna throw the death captain because the mage is probably gonna be lighter for me to carry. All right. I will say if it makes any difference, the death captain is more heavily armored if you're trying to utilize them as a shield. No, I, uh, I am, but I, I don't know. I don't want to be okay. beholden to that. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna equate the body of this death captain to a torch. So you light this fucker on fire, huck him through the portal, grab the body of the mage, and follow after. Yeah, I'm a hucker. Okay. I'm going to give everyone an opportunity here. Um, this is kind of a planned scenario. So, um, the issue is, is that your enemies are 
on the other side waiting for you. So I will let you leave it to chance. Obviously, like, Nimdare is going through first, and Lily is already over there, presumably holding an action to attack, right? Um, but the aside is, is how and when does everyone else go through the portal and arrive? I will let you all decide you can either just roll initiative and and everyone else is on the initiative tracker or if you want to set a forced initiative i will let you all do that but it's in descending order basically nimdare and lily will be at the top of that initiative order and then everyone you're gonna select who goes next but it's going to be in increments basically right so whoever's at the bottom is gonna have a very low initiative because they are the last in the caboose i'm going first mm. up to y'all you can you can let the dice gods decide and we'll work it out or you can if you have like a plan in mind of like we want this person to go in next and we want this person to go in after you can plan that out i don't know that we have a plan but no all is talking it's still no i'm just putting the putting the option forward fucking lily's just cornered herself as far back as she fucking can <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the portal's over here, right? Like, I can't even see that. Yeah. I'm just, I could be standing next to a whole mob and I would not know it. <laughs> the oh. darkness just reaches out and touches your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I would never know. <laughs> but I can see this guy, line of sight, so I'm good. Yeah, okay, sounds like we don't have a plan. Um, or have have a have a concept for the initiative concept, right? So let's just have Nimdare, uh, Huck, um, Lily, uh, is already in there. They are automatically going to be at the top of the initiative. Everyone else is going to select their tokens and roll for initiative. Uh, Nimdare and Lily also select your tokens and roll for initiative, but we're going to adjust yours because you're at the top. Also, Lily, don't forget to roll Kira's. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if I can roll three initiatives. I don't know, baby. You're going to have to go look. Do you really have to roll Artorius since his is his turn is just with yours? I guess I'll we'll have to put him on the board. Why? His turn is just with well, yours. I suppose not. That's fair. I mean, you can All always right. do it if you want to. <laughs> You know, Noted. I'm like, never doing I it like, again. I like seeing Artorius on the turn order. It's nice, but it doesn't really serve a purpose. So, okay. Uh, let us do some descending order. Get Artorius down here with you. Uh, uh, Nimdare. No, automatically going to be a 20. up by him. Yeah, I'm a 20. Is it it's supposed to be you up by him? Yeah, yeah, totally. Fuck you. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, okay. Nimdare and Lily are going or are going to be automatically at 20s. Nimdare hurls the fiery body of the Death Captain through the portal. It disappears from view of all the rest of you. Lily, it's suddenly really fucking bright. <laughs> Yay, oh, I can shit. see. And you see just barely around the lip of the tent to the north is a mage standing there waiting uh the him there roll me an athletics check me no nim there oh nim there oh, i was nimdare. like what am i am athleticing nim nim there roll me an athletics check uh, okay. Uh, is that 23? Lily, the body of the Death Captain 
shoots out of the portal, <laughs> slams into the back of the massive tent structure that you can now see illuminated, crunches into the side of it and, and causes some structural damage. And it's only because these tents are treated to be fire resistant that it doesn't catch in an immediate inferno. Damn, fireproof tents. <laughs> Um, and Nimdare, you jump in right after with the body of the mage held next to you? I sure do. Alright. You jump across. Uh, okay. Number of responses are going to happen. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six... Um, Nimdare, this was your plan. Yeah. Luck check. Roll me a d14. Okay. Roll 20 doesn't know what to do with that. Fucking 10 20. is great. Uh, Lily, you're, you're the only one who gets to see this, but when the body of the flaming death captain hurdles <laughs> through the fucking portal and slams into this tent, a bunch of daggers, flaming brimstone daggers, <laughs> and, like, fucking, uh, beams of, of fucking, like, uh, energy fly out towards his body and just do, 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 in and around his body just detonate. Only a bare handful of the disciplined hobgoblins were able to actually hold their actions not to aim at the distraction, but to instead aim at the individual that came after the distraction a couple of held actions, however, are still going to come at you, uh, Nimdare. So, um, oh, real quick, we're going to do a couple of these. You are we'll allow it. in range. Uh, and you are... I'm just... I'm just... What? I'm just... I'm just... Oh, the, 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 the... Um, okay. So, uh, Nimdare, we've got... That's my name, don't wear it out. Uh, two daggers coming at your direction. Uh, because you are holding the body of the mage in front of you, I'm gonna get you a plus two AC. Had you been holding yeah, yeah. the body of the, uh, death captain in front of you, you would have gotten plus five AC, because that guy is armored as fuck. That's okay. It is what it is. A lot more AC. Yeah, well, he's a well, lot heavier. You know? Um, okay. Dagger. Whoop. 19! <laughs> Into the mage's body it goes. Well, yeah, because I, uh, I have a 20 AC. <laughs> oh, I thought you had a... Well, no, I have 18 plus 2. Yeah, that's... That so, yeah, so the the mage being that plus 2, the, the dagger goes into the mage's body, right? So... Um, next dagger, 14, whiffs completely, um, and then you get some fiery beams coming your way, um, so we get a boop boop. Oh, is that whispered? Uh, I only see brimstone dag. Yeah, that's whispered. Always whisper rolls turned off. Uh, boop, 12, miss, big miss, 11, big miss. All of the held actions either go into the uh, the death captain or into the uh, body of the mage or just go completely fucking wide. That is all of the held actions of the lower tier individuals. There are two individuals that are higher tiered here and disciplined enough to not fall for such a trick. A crossbow thunks and shoots out towards you, Nimdare. A 24 will think into the mage and go through their squishy, squishy flesh right into you. 
Um, so that is going to be nine piercing damage, or seven piercing damage, sorry, to you, Nimdare. Minus uh, seven, minus seven, so taken. And you feel where it hits you, the brimstone head of the crossbow ignite inside your body and begin to burn you. Uh, you are now on fire. <laughs> Great, I love that. As a free action, I would like to um, gain the armor of a golden dragon. <laughs> Doesn't well, that make you resistant you? to fire? <laughs> yeah, but I can't be on fire if I resist it. <laughs> Roll me a d20. Luck, chance. Luck check. Ten are up, and you're correct. The uh, you activate the golden dragon uh, scale mail. It covers your body in the scales of a golden dragon, immediately snuffing the uh, brimstone crossbow bolt head inside your body. Um, now we've got a held action from a mage. Ooh. Uh, I need you. Oh, nope. Never mind. I take it back. That would not happen. Um, great. Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, that is held actions. That is battle music. That is all of you having rolled initiative. And that is where we are going to take our break. When we get back in just a few minutes, we will jump into this ambush. Is it really an ambush if you know it's there? Question yes. mark. Big question mark. A trap is still a trap, mark. even if you know it's present. Something to think about. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think ambush would probably be characterized as an unknown attack. Right? So... It's we will see how this resolves when we get back from break in just a few minutes. We'll see you there Perfect. for more Where Evil Lives. Ah!
everyone, we are back from break. When we left our heroes, they were enacting a uh, cunning plan to uh, <laughs> defeat Let's say it with a question, Jeremy. And it That's worked. fucked up. Presumably worked. I mean, the, the definitely seems to have uh, worked more than it did not. Now, Nimdare like and Lily find themselves... Uh, with Lily still invisible, find themselves in the midst of a ambush, quote unquote, because is it an ambush if you know it's coming? Um, and it is Nimdilly or Limdare's turn. Um, you, you two are the same initiative. Uh, you can adjust your turn as you see fit. How would you like to proceed? You go first, Lily. You got it. Um, I think I'm going to proceed with aggression and <laughs> attack the sky. Surprising everyone. Yeah. Fan. Fan tabulous. <laughs> uh, this guy's arm is outstretched. He's just hurled a brimstone dagger towards Nimdare, uh, or towards the fiery body of the Death Captain. A arrow streaks out of nowhere and because you are invisible and unseen you have advantage meaning the 23 does Woo! hit whereas the 11 would definitely not have hit so 23 hits roll your damage eight piercing damage uh pierces through his breastplate but he is still standing uh, are you going to ricochet or horde breaker or anything like that? Yes. I'm going to ricochet. Who are you ricocheting to? Uh, the guy right next to him. Fantabulous. Uh, again. <clears throat> again. You and again. Oh! oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Crit! <laughs> well, the crit definitely hits. Okay. 11 damage. Ricochets uh, off this guy's <laughs> through this guy's breastplate? I don't know how ricochets work. It hurts one guy and then really hurts the next guy. But they are both they're both hardy hobgoblin troopers. They're both still standing. Okay, horde breaker to the guy behind. Okay. Uh, 18 hits. Uh, 10 damage. This is not a hardy hobgoblin trooper. <laughs> oh. This is a very squishy hobgoblin brand bearer that is also a minion, takes an arrow in the face, and dies. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to second attack one of those guys. Fantabulous. Should I be moved to a new screen yet? I'm still on. No, you should not. You are still on okay. the other side of the portal as all of this is unfolding. I don't 14, know. 14 hits. 14 hits, 14 kills. Dead. Brand bearer in the back. Fantastic. Okay. I think that's my turn. That's a nice turn. And Lily, you are now visible and you see, hear a bunch of infernal shouting and pointing at you. The Only place... from here? No, from everywhere. Oh, no! <laughs> As both north and south see the human archer appear as a volley of arrows are unleashed. Oh, and you may not understand what they're saying literally, but the intention is clear. Kill the fucking lady with the bow. <laughs> oh, no. But it's not just, you're saying it's not just these two groups. I'm hearing stuff out of the darkness. Oh, no, no, no. It's just the groups to the north and the south that you oh, hear things thank from. God. No, no. I was like, so and ready you, to just you turn you around and be yourself, like. <laughs> you can actually feel that kind of like similar barrier that you felt in the desert where you're like, oh, this is the edge of this layers existence you can't okay. go beyond it okay not without it really <laughs> fucking you up um yeah, okay, okay. Cool. lily's turn done nimdare uh a barrage of magical bolts and um uh daggers are thrown at you and the corpse of the fucking captain um most do not find their mark you activate your gleaming gold dragon scale mail 
Uh, you are, you're, the, the golden scales are glittering in the light of the burning corpse of the death captain. Um, you <laughs> hear just a barrage of arrows from behind you and the shrieks of pain to the north. What do you actually do on your turn? Okay, so the mage is to the north and the... And the incendiarist is to the south. Okay. Then um, I will go for the mage. I go one, two, three, four. Um, and I will um, use my bonus action to put some poison on a weapon. Poison on a weapon. You still have that? I thought I you got rid of that. I re-added it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm potent poisoned up, and I... Oh, poison greatsword now? Is that what we are? Indeed. I'm a poison greatsword. Now. Nice. Okay. Fantastic. We're uh, we're really playing Dark Souls at this point. Yes, we are. Uh, poison greatsword, pew! <laughs> um, what did everyone Lily attack? Uh, the one Lily attacked. Fantastic. 27 absolutely hits. 15 slashing damage. Leaves into this man. Does it die? Question well, mark? Potent poison. You have to roll roll a constitution save. Constitution saving throw? 15. I think that probably means it, but I don't remember what happens. Does he take half damage or does he take no damage? I don't remember. Hold on, I have the note. Poison! No, it's not poison, it's the specific potent. The by the oh, poison. No, it's not poison. It's the it's fucking potent poisoner, sorry, I don't I'm I'm trying to figure it out. I get you. I get you. Uh, DC 14 saving throw or take blah 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 and become. So you do save. Okay. Well you're not poisoned. Okay, so the save means you do not take poison damage, right? Correct. Okay. This motherfucker lives with one HP then. All right, well, I have another attack, so... Okay, how about it? <laughs> Is he still alive? 18 hits! He had one HP. He no longer has HP. Okay. Um, action search. Oh <laughs> shit! Okay. Wow. All right, we're going. We're going ham. Fantastic. Sixteen on the guy above me. Sixteen. Oh. Um, As you kill the first trooper, you do get sprayed with a uh, fire. You do take two fire damage. I'm resistant. You are resistant. You take one fire damage. Okay. All right. Sixteen on the guy above me. Gold activatable gold dragon scale mill. Pretty pretty useful. Pretty, pretty useful. Um, all right. Uh, sixteen hits. Twelve damage. Still standing. Bloody. Twelve probably does not hit. But maybe. Twelve does not hit. That's the turn. That's a hell of a fucking turn. The opening barrage from Lily and Nimdair downs one of the troopers, weakens two more, kills two of the brand bearers. And we go so now. A lot of daggers. To yeah, d absolutely prevents a lot of daggers from flying into people. One hundred percent. Speaking of daggers, Lily's about to take one. That's no fun. Oh, oh. twenty-one, Lily. Does that hit? Oh yes. You take a dagger in the shoulder, three piercing damage, two fire, five total damage. As it looks like the troopers to the south are holding ranks, their shields kind of like out and just hurling daggers over their shields at targets. Okay. Um, all right. Am I on fire? Uh, you are not on fire. Okay. It just deals some fire damage. Uh, Lil, Lil, 
Lindsay, close. You uh, watch as Nimdare hurls a fucking flaming death captain through the portal, yoinks up the fucking mage, lunges through, and of all the other people around you, you are the first body, in theory, if you want to, to lurch forward after him. I, I, uh, kick my heels, uh, as if to encourage a horse to go. Yeah, giddy up. And, and, and take the broom into the portal. Ten feet Fantabulous. into the portal. Ten feet takes you. Ignore the man behind the curtain. All right. Takes you here. That's okay. ten feet of movement. Ooh. Oh, man. That is a nice looking cube of people sitting right there. <laughs> it's a nice looking cube. Oh, of man. People. It would be a shame if someone were to erupting Earth that entire area. It might be. <clears throat> but how many spell slots you got left, Lindsay? Uh, I have not used any of my level three spell slots, so I have three. Oh, shit. All right, yeah, let's do it. Uh, three it up. Let's see. It's 20 foot. Now, that should be like, what is that? A uh, 20 foot radius? Yeah, you can like, like, I can absolutely yeah, hit all of them. 100%. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we're doing that. Here we go. Erupting Earth. DC what, what? 16 half damage. So describe this erupting Earth as I figure out who all dies from it. Okay. So, like, I fly through, I come out, I see a perfect area. And uh, what, what group of people are these? Like, well, so I see a few. There's some troopers out front with their shields up, and they're you 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 catch them kind of like pulling back hands or readying daggers to throw, right? Yep. And then you see a bunch of like cloth wearing, staff wielding. Uh, have I actually shown these guys off? <laughs> nope, oh, never seen they, those before in my they, life. They just look like the mages. So they 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 just look basically like this. Um, so, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so they're back there, but they're clearly like you can tell they're not mages. They're like they're like lower tier, right? But they're they've got these um, skeletal staffs in the air, kind of like chanting and waving as like little fires coalesce at the beads of the staff, ready to launch little searing bolts out at everyone. And then you see the fucking uh, the the smith that had escaped you all earlier is standing there with a crossbow reloading a fiery bolt ready to put it into someone else as continue. Okay, so I, I imagine this as like, they've got their formation. Maybe they feel a little confident in it because they were laying in wait, had time to prepare, but all of a sudden the earth underneath their feet begins to shift and move. And then they lose that confidence as they are... Uh, and well, except that one that rolled a nat 20. <laughs> very confident. That one's very yeah. confident. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so and it just like almost nearly breaks formation with the fantastic. earth just I like, turning beneath them. You, you remember the... Uh, what was it? Like Titan from FF... Uh, tactics or whatever, like when it comes down, yeah. all the just, goes, <laughs> just cubes of earth, yeah, just going, just cubes of earth come up and and fucking like smash and jostle everyone. Okay, uh, twenty two damage is a lot of damage. We're gonna go uh, left to right, top to bottom. Uh, this guy does not succeed. He takes twenty two damage. He is absolutely on death's door. Uh, this guy, you're sixteen. This guy does not succeed. He is also on on death's door. This guy does succeed. So he will take 11. He's still pretty fucked up. Um This guy succeeds. He takes 11. He is he's fine. He's probably the thickest of these. This guy fails immediately dies. The two that succeed because their minions survive, because that's how minions function. 
Um, and then this guy in the back also fails, automatically dies. So you instantly kill two of them, grievously injure another two, and then really badly hurt one and kind of hurt another. Not too bad for a third level spell. Uh, and then I will uh, fly towards Lily, uh, assuming she would like a lift, and I, I one of the stars that would maybe be close to where my eye socket is, like, flicks out and on real quick, like a wink. Yeah. <laughs> and Does... uh, if, if she is so willing, I will pick her up and we'll at least get out of melee range. Does your star okay. form do anything for a bonus action? Oh, right. That's right. I got a bonus action. Yeah, you you, uh, you yeah. specifically said before you went in that you yeah. activated your, I think, archer form, right? Yeah, I did, which means I can luminous arrow uh, that guy in the front that says, like, really low life, you said. All right, fantastic. 17, 17 yeah, does hit. Arrow. Absolutely. <laughs> Fucking beam of luminescent light streaks okay. out, slams into this guy's chest, and he dies. All right. And then after the Uber, uh, I'll just go 20 up. 20 up. Hell yeah. Lily and Lindsay, 20 feet up in the air. Fantabulous. All right. The mages, before the end of your turn, we're, we're playing magic rules here. Before the end of your turn, uh, the mages right. held action is going to trigger. And I need a dexterity saving throw from uh, Nimdare, Lily, and Lindsay. Okay, dexterity. Here we go. That's a three. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, I will say, you see the mage's staff lift up in the air. Fire begins to blossom from it. They are chanting and waving their hand. I don't know if anyone has counterspell. That was the that was the moment. If they're, I'm not. In it. I'm, and I'm, then yeah. they. Rain hellfire down upon oh, the bad. gathered individuals. So, a 14, a 25, and a 3. That is going to be a uh, success, success, and a failure. So, interestingly, uh, nope, that's unrecognized. Uh, actually, real quick, Jeremy, if we can retcon something real quick. What's the retcon? Since uh, I still have watch out. Uh, can I take disadvantage uh, so that? Uh... Well, Ooh, wait, hold on. That's disadvantage on saving throw. When did the music just ramp up for anyone else? Uh, it, I did kind of like turn it up a little bit. I can turn it down. Slightly. Okay, <laughs> I was like, it was, there, I was like, there was definitely a lull, and bubba, then it gets, bubba. it gets, it peaks at this point. <laughs> <laughs> It's so hard to manage the music on the concept of like, is it even audible versus is it too oh, no, fucking no, much? Yeah. Right? No, never mind. Yeah, it is hard. I'm, I'm not doing what I said I'm going to do. I mean, like, it's, we already passed. So. Gotcha. Yeah, Lily already yeah. succeeded on her yeah. saving throw. Understood. So, that'd be um, so Ignore. Uh, the roll is 12. Lily and Lindsay succeed, and Nimdare is resistant to fire, so everyone. Takes six fire damage. I am resistant. To even fire. me? Yes, even you. Uh, I don't also, exist there. So yeah, you do not I, exist I, yet. But Lily, Lindsay, and Nimdare all take six fire damage from the uh, mage's held action. And now it's the mage's turn. Bro that was a and you roll. see the mage begin to Past something, but then nothing happens. Oh shit! Uh, and now it is somebody else's turn. Uh, it's this guy who is. He's baiting the counter spell. Now the real spell's coming. Horribly fucked up. Uh, and how high are you up there? Okay, this is gonna be a disadvantage. Gonna gonna throw a dagger at. Lindsay at disadvantage. 
Big miss. Miss. This guy's alive. This one's gonna throw a dagger at Lily at disadvantage. Ooh, big miss. Let's see, confirm that critical. It's a fine. It's Sif. Sif is tired of waiting. Guy, Sif is bored. Sif has been bored for a while. He was kind of promised this grand bite. battle, and all he's been fighting are these fuckers who deal fire damage, and he doesn't give a shit about that. So it's kind of been Little a boring bitches. snooze fest for him. And it's right at that right. point where it it strikes Sky's mind that if anyone potentially could have gone in first, it might have been the thing immune to fire damage. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, he jumps third. <laughs> God. Oh, no. Oh, God, my portal. Oh. Go back to no, that portal. portal. Where did... No, you quit that. You move <laughs> that dog. <laughs> don't, you, dog. don't you make me. The map layer, so okay. To go okay. The portal. You can move the dog back portal. now. Move the dog back now. Okay. Portal. Oh, this one's going crazy, too. Fantastic. All right. Uh, Sif, five feet into the portal. Blah, 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 blah. Ignore the man behind the court curtain. Blah, 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 blah. Pops out. Into a war zone. That's a lot of fucking things. Literally lands after Hellfire tent. rains down around the rest of the party. <laughs> ah, excellent. Great timing. So there is Sith just smells fire the wonderful scorching scent of brimstone and fire and yes. is happy. He's like, ah, and home. Charge and charges the back line. Fantabulous. Oh no. Um I'm gonna chop the archer. The ch oh, okay, you're going he's going Sif is like, fuck these weak ones. I'm going for the one that I know is a big boy. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, a 20 will hit. Absolutely. Get chopped upon. Fuck. Ah, uh, okay. Well, um, the six hurts. The four doesn't hurt as much. Anything else for your turn? Um. No. Fantabulous. It's this guy's turn. He's still alive. Yeah, he'll, uh, he will defront. He will step forward. No, 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 he's a smart boy. Um, hmm. Wait, does he value flanking Nimdare over trying to just body block Nimdare? Let's roll a d20. Uh, uh, 10 or less, he values flanking. Um, 11 or higher, he values body blocking. He values body blocking. Um, he's just going to step here and... Why? He can do both. He moves here. He tries to stab Nimdare from behind. Silly me. Uh, he, he tries to stab Nimdare, or he doesn't try to stab Nimdare. He tries to flail Nimdare from behind. 17 will absolutely miss Nimdare. Nimdare has uh, an 18 AC. Um, so that's a miss. Uh, and then he will step back, attempting to body block Nimdare. Uh, this guy is dead. And no, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Just a second. Wait a second. You said you missed him? You missed me? Is that what happened? He missed you. Yeah, absolutely. He missed you. All right. I will, uh, I will activate Riposte. Ooh. You have missed me with the melee attack. I will use my reaction and expend one superiority dice to make a melee weapon attack against the creature. <sighs> if you hit, you add your superiority dice, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Attack. Attack. That's a 14. That That's a 14. 14 is going to miss. <laughs> yeah, you know, we tried. It was, it was a really promising idea. It just didn't work out. Fantastic. <laughs> Gartorius. It amazing if it had. Sith has cool. just jumped oh, through the portal in front of you, and you hear Artorius, guy, you hear Artorius kind of whine at being maybe outpaced by Sif. You know, there's mm -hmm. there's a little bit of, like, internalized maybe envy or fear at Guy, maybe replaced. finding Sif more valuable than Artorius at the end Get of the replaced. day. 
Onward! <laughs> we launched through the portal. Onward! Through the portal. Five feet. Ignore the man behind the curtain. Another five feet. Boom! And we race down to join with Sif. Fantabulous. Artorius fights out at the enemy. He butts. Boy, boy. He goes chomp. He goes chomp. He is to not be outpaced. He is to not be outpaced. He bites savagely the leg of this trooper. But that trooper is still standing, though now bloody. Guy follows up with a slashing rend upon its face with the nine live sword. Is this guy secretly a dragon? Um, it doesn't matter because I whiff horribly. <laughs> looks like you might again. Be out. <laughs> Fifteen just misses. Just misses. Unfortunate. Just misses. I accept my lot in life. You accept your lot in life. It's not a lot, but it's your life. All right, it's uh, this guy <laughs> up top. Uh, he'll do the same thing. He will flank Nimdair. Uh, he will flail Nimdair. He will miss Nimdair. And then he will move back in an attempt to block Nimdair. <laughs> God damn it. Dolly! Damn, get, What's up? get missed there, It's bro. your turn. You see, all of your party except for Kira have rushed into the portal. Uh, presumably off to some grand battle. What would you like to do? I guess I'm gonna jump through the portal. Fantabulous. That's ten feet. Pop. Pop. You've used ten feet of your movement. You appear on a battlefield. Battle is engaged. People are screaming, fighting, swinging weapons to the north, to the south, all over. And there's a extremely disgusting smelling death captain. I cannot describe how bad a creature that is resistant to fire smells when it is just a torch is held to it to the point to where its body actually finally catches fire. What do you want to do, Dolly? Stank. Can I move here? Uh... Nimdare looks like he is fighting a couple people to the north. Um, Guy, Artorius, and Sif are fighting a couple people to the south. What would you like to do? Already went 10, right? Mm hmm. You moved 10 feet. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Hell yeah. That guy looks like he's barely holding up his shield he's got a he's got a dagger in his hand and it looks like he's ready to switch to his flail to like engage guy but you're too fast you get over in his face and what are you gonna do about it i'm gonna hit him with the warhammer uh, uh. 15 <laughs> just you misses. Sure. Dang just... It. i forgot rage oh well, rage first yeah rage first it's not going to affect your hit rate, but, you know, you can still bonus action rage and, and then perfectly fine. And you well, still have your second attack. Get a your reckless attack, just saying. True, but you need to you need to declare a reckless attack before you actually attack. You need to say, I I want to attack recklessly. Yeah, but you don't know that. Well, but now you can. If you if you want to take that, that risk versus reward, you can rage and then be like, okay, now I want to recklessly attack to make sure I hit him. You know? Yeah, I'm cool. Okay. Uh, but you do want to rage, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll put the rage token on you. Boom. Rage. Um, and you, are you just going to swing at him Angly. again? No, I didn't hit. You didn't hit the first time. Okay. Then, yeah. I'm going to do it. So awesome. I'm going to do it two-handed. Two? Uh, was the uh -oh. secret the secret <laughs> That was the no! secret. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, roll a d20 for me. Okay. That'll do. Do you want this to be bad for you, bad for your team, or good for the enemy? 
If it's bad for me, wouldn't it be bad for the or good for the enemy if it were? Um. Only one way to find out. Yes. <laughs> Make it bad for me, I guess. Bad for you, okay. Um, this guy's gonna get a free reaction against you. You fumble so badly on that second hit that he's able to sheath his dagger, pull his flail, and try to hit you over the top of his shield. So he's gonna make an attack against you. 16 will hit. So you are raging, so you'll only take half damage, but you do take four bludgeoning damage as the, the flail hits over the top of you. Um, anything else for your turn? No, I'm good. All right. We're back at the start of the initiative order. Is that me? Yeah. Are <laughs> you sure? It was real quiet for a minute. <laughs> want my toy dude i had a heart attack yesterday she ate a grape i gave my kids grapes oh. for breakfast grapes you ain't supposed to be eating grapes oh i just just about died and then like i'm picking up her poop and i'm realizing there's all these pits in her poop and i'm trying to figure out what it is and we have a plum tree uh, and so I guess that. I'm just, just trying to kill my dog and I had no I idea. Think you, I think you're trying to kill the, the dogs. I, I think so. Eat randomly. They have all the food that they need and they will just randomly eat anything. Well, mm -hmm. I feel like she really likes balls. So mm. if you have a plum, it's mm. very circular. Mm. A grape is very circular. So she was just like, this is fantastic. Tossing it in the air and then ate it. And it's that's, like, that's fair. Uh Okay. Uh Sith is gonna get stabbed. No. Uh -huh. 18. Okay, maybe. Sith takes four piercing damage. We'll allow it. We forgot yeah, Kira. Fine. Oh, oh yeah. We did forget Kira. Oh yeah, Kira's just Kira. alone on the other. Oh I know. I I thought I rolled for initiative, but I may not have had her select. Uh, select her token and roll for initiative, and we'll just put I'm her at the sorry. bottom. No, no worries. Okay, we'll give her a one. It's Kira's <laughs> turn. Kira. <laughs> sorry, she's gonna jump. She's gonna jump through. Oops, where's she? Over here. Oh, she can't. You have to move her. She's gonna jump through and figure out what the hell's going on. Fantastic. She moves. She moves. Boom! Right there. She moves. Okay. Uh, wow, dead people everywhere. So, does anybody look like they could use assistance? Uh, it looks like there are several melee people fighting to the south, and only Nimdare fighting to the north. All right, so she's gonna come up here and she's gonna attack this guy. Okay, sounds like a plan. Let's just do. Oops, where's her sheet? Here's her sheet. No, did I just close it? I did. Oh my gosh, hold on. I like rolled for her. There he goes. Okay. Let's just do a signature attack. I don't want to do anything fancy. Signature attack. 16 will just hit. Okay. Uh, so she rushes forward, stabs this guy in the gut. He is still standing, but he is grievously injured. He's bloody, so he's below half health. Cool. That's her turn. Fantastic. All right. Sorry. Now no, not a problem. Good, good, attacking good us. looking out, because I totally forgot. Very All right, it is. Uh, actually. This could matter. Uh, Nimdare, what's your dexterity? Uh, I don't know, level fucking 10 or something? Okay, you, you don't count. Lily, what's your dexterity? High, right? 18, 20? Seven, 17. 17? Okay. So, Lily goes before the mage. Lily, it's your turn. Really? Okay. I'll take it. You, Nimdare, and the mage are on initiative 20, but you are the highest dexterity of those individuals. 
I see. I see. Okay, I have a quick question that's unrelated to anything battle. Okay. And that is, what is considered a help action? So a help action is when a creature spins their action, right? So they can't attack or, or cast a spell or anything like that, right? Um, so they spin their action to provide some sort of helpful assistance to another creature, right? Um, so, now that like, in the moment when we were back... I don't know where we were before where Lindsay and I made the choice where Lindsay was going to heal Kira and I was going to attack. If it had been the opposite, I would have taken the health action. So you, what you could do with the help action is provide someone assistance on making their attack an advantage or at advantage. Or if uh, a lot of times you'll use the help action outside of battle, right? Where, um, you might not have great investigation, but say Lindsay does. So you don't make the investigation check, but you help Lindsay make the investigation check by assisting him with ideas or things like that. So he gains advantage on the the check, that type of stuff. Okay. So it's basically so the whole concept. Somebody who's attacking somebody like okay is not so going to be help. Say, yeah. yeah. So okay. help help is basically sacrificing your ability to do something to give someone else advantage on that ability to do something we're gonna have to figure out how to do this outside of combat yeah, for people because i don't know how to with, do that with that combat. card with that card it's most likely outside of combat for you okay all right that sounds good i'm just sitting there i'm like well if i kill the person that's attacking one of my friends it's that's very helpful. helpful that's the helpful but it's not the help action okay all right that's fine all right, I'm going to attack the back line. I would oh, say, so in a combat sense, what it would be is a help action for Lily would probably look something along the lines of helping by, say you wanted to help Nimdare secure a kill, right? So rather than actually just shooting to try to kill the thing yourself, you, Lily would hold their shot to where right when Nimdare attacked, Lily shot to distract the person, right? Like, get them to lift their shield to block the arrow, and that would give Nimdare advantage on the attack, right? But in combat, you already have two attacks, and you can bounce things, so it's probably not the best use of your time, but that's yeah. what it would probably look like. All right, that sounds good. I'll, I'll think about that. It's just, I was looking at that card, puzzling yeah. to myself on whether whether I've been helpful or not. Definitely look for this look for opportunities outside of combat to be like, hey, I'm not good at this, but I want to help you do this. All right. Yeah. All right, sounds good. I'm going to attack our back line back there. Fantastic. Uh... 17 what? hits. That is a... Dead brand bearer. Uh, ricochet. Ricochet. It, that actually hits 13. They do not have very much armor. That is a, <laughs> another dead brand bearer. Okay. Horde breaker. Uh, actually on the... Breaking the horde. Yeah. 100%. Never mind. Uh, horde breaker. Horde breaker. 24 hits. That is a 10. My god. Arrows flying everyone. That guy is still standing, but he is no. really fucked up. Damn. I am going to attack him again. Okay. Second attack. Do it up. Doesn't hit. He, he took one arrow and he's like, never mind. Hold up. Shield up. Put shield up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. I can get not that interested in fine. This. Not today. It is back to the mage's turn. And the mage, whatever they were doing previously, is now complete. And so they uh -oh. lift their hands. Where is the mage? Is this the mage? No, it's uh, back here. Uh, mage is oh, up I here. Oh, I can't see up there. You, yeah, oh, no. just kind of out of like the corner yeah actually because because of where you positioned yourself you just can't see them oh um, no <laughs> so 
the mage hands lift up into the air a very familiar uh looking incantation i say that only kira <laughs> and nimdare could see it um but staff up and hellfire again begins to rain down around nimdare kira Lindsay, and lily I need all four of them to roll me dexterity saving throws. Spinning. DC is 14, so that's a save, a save. Uh, deck. That is a save. Nice. Okay, so we're just missing Kira. That's you, Lily. Forgot. Dexterity. Hmm. Kira is the odd one out, unfortunately. Okay. So, Kira takes a full 10 fire damage as Hellfire rains down on top of her. So I'll adjust that. Um, Lindsay and Lily take 5 fire damage. And then Nimdare, because he saved and is resistant, takes 2 fire damage. Um, and we are right. to Nimdir, sir. Oh. Nimdir. Nimdir. You see a bunch of the mages, the, the brand bearers in the back, die, fall to Lily's arrows. Um, and she pegs the one, one of the ones that you're fighting, but he doesn't drop. So you still have two troopers in between you and the mage. Okay. I'm going to attack the one north of me. Fantabulous. Uh, with a, a sword attack. That's a 22. Does that okay. hit? That's a dead man. Okay. <laughs> it's a super dead man. Oh, uh, now I'm going to come over yeah, here. Two, yeah, two HP left. Okay. Fantastic. And, uh, I'm going to flank that man. You, you, you flank that man and flank yourself, therefore nullifying your flank. And deflank that man? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's going to be neutral anyways. It doesn't matter. Well, I know, but I, I want to not I just said tag. I said nine. Nine! Is that nine a critical fail? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please confirm that critical for me. Oh, okay. It's not a show. Uh, it's a 17. You are perfectly fine. But that is both of your attacks, I believe. Yeah, that's what I can do. You want to move or you stay in here? No, I'm going to stay there. Fantastic. All right. That guy is dead. It's Lindsay. Lindsay, there's a lot of fucking hellfire raining down around you and, and Lily. Actually, I need you to roll a d20 twice. Uh, fine. Uh -huh. Also fine. Uh -huh. Not a problem. Okay. Easy peasy. Lindsay, uh, there's a lot of hellfire raining it. down around you and Lily. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. You're doing okay. Lily does not seem to be doing as well. Uh, is she uh, like hurt? She's like not, bad? She's not she bad bloody? hurt. She's not bad hurt, but she is getting hurt by the fire. Is she on fire? No, she's not. She's not on okay. fire, but she just keeps getting hit by fire raining down. All right, cool. Uh, uh, on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm at 32 of 48. Uh, let's see. Basically, that mage is causing problems. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's start focusing magi. Um, I wish to uh, target this one right here, the one ten Whoa. feet south of Dolly. Fantastic. Okay. And I'm going to frostbite her. Awesome. That's a twenty-six. That definitely what hits. Is, okay. is that a fucking cantrip? Yeah. That's a cantrip. Definitely hits, uh, and that is a dead brand bearer. Okay, cool. 
Then the one uh, southwest of that one, I'm going to Luminous Arrow. 20 hits. That is a dead brand bear. All the brand bears are dead. All right. Well, that alleviate Lily's fire problems. That'll alleviate some of the fire problems. There will be less fire. There will be less fire. Okay. Uh, well, I guess, I, I guess in turn. In turn. Fantastic. All right, fantastic. Oh, oh. Um, that guy is still alive. He's going to try to smack Dolly in the face with his flail. Um, no. God, he does not want to die. That's a 23 to hit Dolly. Um, so Dolly, still raging, takes another That'll four do. bludgeoning damage. Uh, and that is that guy's turn. This guy... Um, this guy's going to take the dodge action, actually. Um, cause he is being harried by two different doggos and an, uh, an Iron Man. Uh, and it's Sif's turn. Uh, Sif is going to continue biting the back archer person. Fantastic. Wait, hold on, double check something. I think he gets pack tactics, but I gotta double check if it's the person right next to him. I think he gets pack tactics if an ally is within five feet of the target, or is it within five feet of yeah, him? Yeah, it's the target. So he's gonna he gonna attack the dude next to Gartorius. So that would make it neutral since that guy is dodging, and a twenty-four definitely gonna hit. Get bit upon. Uh, that guy is dead. Uh, that guy falls into a defensive stance, tries to fight for his life. Fails miserably, has his throat ripped out by a molten maw from the Hellhound Sif. Sif eats an entire leg from him. Jesus, in the middle of combat, Sif, you have no restraint. Middle of combat, eats a leg. Alright. Then. What now? Oh, that's it. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I think this guy is also dead. No, this guy is alive! This guy is the only guy uh, alive up here aside from the mage. Uh, he's gonna... He's gonna try to smack Nimdare. He's, he's gonna, he's feeling, he's feeling antsy. He's gonna try to smack Nimdare with his fire flail. Eleven! That's a big miss. Gartorius, you're up. No, nope, we're post. Oh, repost! Oh, he wants God. to reposte. Reposte! That's it? Bigly. He takes that 14, much damage. 20, 18, 30, 30 damage? 20, oh my God! 20 damage. <laughs> 20 damage. 20 yeah, damage. you're a little off, but... Yeah, whatever. 20, 30, it's all the same. Damage. Take 35 damage, it's fine. Yeah, I, I think that hits for about 62. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and take math that. Checks Jimmy. Out. <laughs> Roll me a luck chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you call odds or evens. Odds. What what dice am I rolling? D20. And you want an odd. Nailed it. 13! Nailed it! Okay. That guy only had seven HP. Uh, right, we're gonna, we're gonna try to honor the crit in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So, while you brutally murder this guy with that crit, what the else would you like to, to do? You. Like, how, how does you murdering that guy assist you further in your goals? Um, Aside from just murdering him. You eviscerate him, and the blood splashes upon his allies, blinding them. No, why? Well, no, I want. I I feel as though. Oh, my thanks for the reminder, can... Guy and Artorius. You take. You both take two damage from Sif mutilating the fucking corpse of that hobgoblin. <laughs> I feel as though my momentum should allow me to? to move up to fifteen feet. Uh, up to fifteen feet? Absolutely. That's that sounds one hundred percent plausible. 
Uh, oh, you, your, you swing see. so wide, widely at the flailing of this fucking hobgoblin that you actually just kind of like lift your feet and your greatsword carries you another few feet and you, you landing slide sure. through the grass That's and good. behind the mage. Yeah. And I'll actually say, because of that maneuver, it slides you out of the way of the spewing molten blood of this trooper. But so, unfortunately, it doesn't slide Kira out of the way, so Kira takes another two fire damage. Oh, well, you can't win them all. Classic great sword helicopter move. Great sword helicopter move, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Uh, all right, fantastic. Uh, that was your reaction, right? Yes, it was. 100%. Wow. Gartorius, uh, a fountain of molten hot blood erupts on you as Sif rips out a guy's throat and then devours his leg. What do you want to do? Feels great. I'd like another. Um, I I another, move please. Towards please this sir. spot. Give me another. I think actually flanking myself. Yeah, you flank um, yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I swing upon the bottom left dude. Bottom left dude. He swing what? upon him. Uh. An explosion of damage. Explosion. Uh, explosion. Uh, <laughs> Alright. That guy had significantly more health than the previous one did. So you just you just brutally murder this one, okay? <laughs> like he had 17 HP, so you don't overkill him that much. <laughs> like whatever, get exploded, damage. nerd. He's fucking exploded, but you're still in range to be exploded. So you and Artorius both take. Three. I'm in range to get. Oh, from the blood. From the blood, you and Artorias both take three fire damage. Sith is immune to the fire damage, so just plays in it. Just happily chewing on a leg that's still <laughs> erupting fonts of blood. Uh, how much was it? Two? Three. Four? Three. Three for three. these guys. My name's Jeremy, and I hurt you without having to fucking do anything. I didn't design this module. This is not on me. <laughs> I did not give these de demonic hobgoblins fire blood. Uh, was I he wish I dragon? did. I love the idea. <laughs> Jeremy, was he a secret dragon? Uh, roll a d100. It's you're gonna. He's gonna land it eventually. Any any time. Oh, big. Woo! Not only was he not a dragon. <laughs> how how? No, I won't. I won't do that to you. I was about to say that's. I, I, I won't do that. He's I might give you dragon. I might give you disadvantage on the next time you do that though. <laughs> that's bullshit. That's just as rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in the opposite direction. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm playing D and D golf. Low, low scores matter. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that was only really your first attack, right? Though, like, uh, yeah, that was my first attack. That was your first so attack. I'm gonna swing on the dude to the top right. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, would you like to move into a flanking position so that is a crit? Um, yeah, yeah, I would. I would like to have moved into a flanking wow. position. Wow, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. Alright, so that is a crit. Critical failure this guy he doesn't get super that. dies. Um, I would say, how do you want that to benefit you? I have gotten my benefit. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, he bleeds. You and Artorias both take two fire damage, and Dolly takes one fire damage. Ah, uh, yep, yep, cool. yep, yep, yep. My uh, friend. all of these guys are dead. Kira, it's Kira's turn. Hmm. And Nimdare has presented Kira with a wonderful little flanking opportunity. Is this guy up here dead? 
I can't see with from Kira's perspective. Oh, yeah. oh Kira I should Kira, probably never mind. Nimdare hasn't provided Kira with a wonderful flanking opportunity because Kira can't fucking see up there. Because Kira has the same problem as Lily and Lindsay. Kobolds don't have dark vision. They live in fucking caves. I, that's a good question, actually. Let me uh, check. She's a let, forest kobold. Let, thank let me, you. Let me verify. Let, let me verify. Kobold. It's not. It's not on on this. They instance. have sunlight sensitivity. It's like. Not, I, oh my I, god! I, they have sunlight sensitivity and no dark vision. That's not good. Let's they check, live in the middle. I think, we, I think we now understand why kobolds suck. <laughs> you know what? Actually, they do have dark vision on on the race traits. I don't know why it's not included here. Um, oh, it is included. <laughs> it is included here. It's just not on the token. Oh, In a moment, okay. though. Let me fix the token. God damn, what a terrible fucking sunlight to do. No damn, no, no, no. It's there. It's just not That's on like the token. That's like a snake. It has it has, fine for Out of the Abyss. It's like 30, the snake has arms and legs, 30. but they can't actually, they got no muscles oh. or bones. Oh. So they just kind of drag <laughs> around. <laughs> Like, <laughs> let me save this on, on, so it actually takes. I want to play a mice in it. Yeah, me too. Wait, I want to play a chef who loves to cook with mushrooms. Oh, in a party yeah. with the mice in it. With the mice in it, <laughs> that would be great. He's always I want to make mushrooms. And he's like, that. hey, taste this. And he's like, yeah, yeah. fantastic. I, I, I want right. to be one of the characters from Dungeon Delicious. There you go, Lily. You should actually be able to see shit with Kira now. I can see shit. Okay, she's Nimdare gonna run. has provided Kira a wonderful opportunity to flank this mage. Here. Not. Nope. No. Where is it facing? Oh, here. Wonderful. Fantastic. I'm attacking. We're gonna do her big stuff. Uh, Dude, the shield bash. Can't do her big stuff anymore. Oh. Did Remember? I do it three times? You did it three times last time on the on the other guy, and you yep. haven't taken a long rest yet. Well, I didn't really know big stuff. rest helped. <laughs> That's the, uh, I feel you. I feel you. You're gonna have to so do the misses. normal size she's, stuff. She's tapped out currently, so she does miss. Yes, an 11, uh, 11 will miss, unfortunately. But All right. you now have the mage kind of flanked, right? Um, so its options are more limited than they previously were. Anything else for Kira's turn? Nope, she is why where did, she wants to be. Why did Kira go before Dolly? What happened there? Dolly, it's your turn. And everything okay. to the south is dead. No. <laughs> no. The, the curse of being low on initiative is... They, sometimes things are just dead by the time you get there. Well, I can't go very far. You're pretty quick. How much movement you got? Got you. You could get up to the north. Absolutely. Okay, I'll go that far. You be you, Dolly just turns like guy and Artorius kill the thing to the south, and then Dolly just about faces and moose charges northward. Right towards the continuous sounds of battle. And Dolly, yeah, you close the distance. Just close the distance on this mage that Nimdare and Kira are fighting at its flank. So you have advantage on any attacks. Hmm. I'm going to attack it with my javelin. Because my war or, hammer's been oh. Or if you want to do something else, you can try to do something else. But that's up to you. What something else can I do? Uh, your whatever you would like to try to do. You could try to like tackle it and pin it. You could try to like kick it off its legs. You could try to like steal its staff it. from it. You know, you can do a number of things. Attacking is is a safe bet to do, right? But it's not the only thing you have to do. Did you move twenty feet in a straight line to get here? You absolutely did. You could bull gore rush him. it with your horns. Gore that you ass. could gore the fuck out of it. Uh, and uh, oh, another thing that you can do is you can like you can knock people down onto the ground if you want to, right? I'm gonna do what again? No, oh, you didn't use the dash action, did you? No. Nope. Uh, you can still do it. What am I doing? I don't know. Whatever you want. 
What is goring? Goring, goring. Gore is just an attack. Gore, gore is a special attack that you have as like a, a minotaur moose person. It's your horns. It's your horns. Yeah, mm -hmm. you like lower your head and you're like, I'm going to charge your ass with my horns. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Fuck yeah. Click that gore. Add advantage. So click it again. Oh. Roll for crit. That, yeah, that first one will hit, but we're rolling for crit. Roll for crit. Roll no, for crit. Roll in roll for crit. crit. You've already rolled once. Okay. All right, 18 hits. Click the horns, roll your damage. Which one? That one. There you go. 11 damage. I forgot yeah. another action. Fuck yeah, 11 damage. You slam, you just, just charge northward along the side of this tent, round, and just ram your horns into this mage. It kind of knocks the mage into Nimdare, who is who is not expecting this and just kind of like gets bumped and pushes back with his shoulder, right? And just knocks the mage oh, back yeah. into your waiting hands to attack again if you want to. Oh, I'd love to attack it again. Hell yeah. What do you want to attack with? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, uh, I don't know, sidestab with my javelin. Sidestab, javelin. Uh, you have advantage, so roll. Oh, oh, you roll twice. Uh, 14 and 13. Not gonna hit. It just, just misses. So this thing has been focused right on Nimdar and Kira. You charge around the corner, slam it with its horns, and as soon as it rebounds, it's like, oh shit, and it's looking at you. So it, you go to like stab it with its javelin, and its whole form just kind of like for a brief moment just shimmers and phases out of existence as it's basically using magic to defend itself. Anything else for your turn? No, I'm good. All right. This person is dead. This person's alive. This person's dead. This person's dead. Okay. The only enemy on the board is the mage. Yeah, good luck, brother. Hope you got some touch spells. Only enemy on the board <laughs> is... And to be clear, I can't see that, right? Lily cannot see the mage. You, you, I don't think so. Not currently. Okay. I'm just, yeah, I, uh. Oh, actually, you can. Kira. You can right now because, uh, we've, we've been playing it out as, as Dolly has been just perpetually walking around with a fucking torch. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, so now that Dolly's closed, you actually can see the mage. Okay, sounds good. Alright, we got this. Fantastic. Those are actually all the ones that might play. Uh, top of the turn order. Lily, you're up. Me. Yay. That's you. Uh, so because I can see, because thank you, Dolly, for holding a torch. Yeah. I'm going to attack here. Can I, do you think we are high enough in the air that I won't hit my, 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 Lovely friends. Uh, yes, I believe. I believe yeah, so. We're 20. 20, that, that should be planned. As long, as long as you don't naturally fail, yes. Okay. Yeah, easy. Just yeah, don't, let's not. Just don't yeah, do it. Yeah, just don't fuck up. Th that you did not fuck up. I rolled a three. That is terrifying. That is not a three. That is a natural 20 because this individual is surrounded, so they are flanked, so you have advantage. <laughs> so that is a <laughs> natural 20. Yeah. Ooh. 16. Uh, fuck it. It's now 
you're above this person, right? Like, you're, you're at an angle to where you can shoot them, yes. But Dolly's so fucking tall compared to this hobgoblin mage that you... You have to hold your shot and loose your arrow, and the arrow goes through the tangled mass that is Dolly's horns Hell to yeah. hit this fucking mage in the chest. All right? That's right. <laughs> like, it's, it's not an easy shot by any stretch of the imagination. Um, Take that. But that's just one attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, but he's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Definitely still alive. Ugh, damn. All right. He, this mage walk. is quite robust. A 20 will still hit. Absolutely. Another 7 damage. Fantastic. Uh, the mage is starting to look hurt. Jesus. Just starting? Just starting. Oh. Well, is that, is that the end of your turn? We just got over here. Hold on, I... yeah. You know this. You know this. This person's about to disengage and run into a portal, just like the last two <laughs> maps we did, right? <laughs> Y'all understand that's what's happening. Going to disengage happen. portal. It's happening. Um, can I? This is okay. How how do I want to like say this? And we ain't got nobody had Sentinel. Um. Nope. Poisoner. When. The... When that last shot goes through, I want to kind of like do like a war cry and then try and intimidate him. Uh, sure. Roll me an intimidation check. I'm not very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> it comes off more it as a yodel. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't seem as the mage even notices your particular cry over the massive moose lady and ripped fucking drow man behind her. <laughs> All right, fair, fair. Uh speaking, oh, nope, sorry. It's it's uh it's mage lady. Uh she doesn't want to die. So yes, she is going to disengage and run away. Um so we are we are now to ripped drow man. Does my yodel count as a success? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if she runs away. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Definitely not. I have to, guys, I need to do more skill checks. Remind me to keep trying different things. Skill check, skill check. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nimdare, what do you want to do? I'm going to chase him. Five, ten, chase fifteen. Him. 20, sorry, 20, 25. Uh, All right. Yeah. You round the corner, 30. chasing after. All right. I don't see anybody else. I'm not, we're not doing stupid bullshit. I'm going to grab them. Oh, okay. Oh, no, wait. How, how hard are they? How hard are they? Are they really, really hurt? They are bloodied. Mm. You don't know past that point. You don't know how bloody. Lindsay's coming up. Uh, well, there's a everyone before. Yeah, they just went. Okay, bonus action to poison my weapon. <laughs> okay, attack. here we go. Go for the kill. Let's do it. Yo, poison attack. Well, that missed. Um, but it's okay because I missed, so uh, still poisoned. Please confirm that. Critical. Maybe not. <laughs> you know who knows. You, your team, or do you want it bad for you, bad for your team, or good for the enemy? Bad for the team. Bad for the team. Thanks, bro. You're welcome. Bad for the team. I took one for my help. I don't know what happened to you. I wasn't paying attention. Bad, bad for, me. for the team. All right. Everyone else roll me a d20. You want above a 10. Oh god. Alright. I have rolled above a ten. Ooh! I have not. Some of you. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. <laughs> Roughly half of you. <laughs> Lily's initiative drops by two points. Okay. Lindsay's initiative drops by two points. 
uh, Cassandra is, or or Dolly is perfectly fine. Guy, Gartorius's initiative raises by two points. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna use my second attack to try and grab him. Okay. Uh, athletics. Yeah, athletics. For me, anyway. They're going to you. use their dexterity to oppose you. Okay. Well, do what you can. Did that, that that roll to GM? Yes, it did. Why? Why is the auto thing always set to whisper? It was a five. You grabbed them. I'm, I'm holding them. Dude, you I got grabbed him. them. They're I held. Got I got them. I've got. I'm oh, holding no. them. Interestingly, though, Lindsay's initiative dropped by two. Why is that initiative interesting? That's interesting because Lindsay is carting around Lily on the back okay. of the yep. broom. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Lindsay's initiative was previously 17. Yeah, but Lily's was 20. So Which it's like means the... that Lindsay probably would have tried to have flown over the tent to give chase. Yeah, definitely was planning on doing that. But instead, a certain mass of hobgoblins oh, appears no. out of the huh? portal behind you all as the mage's second or first actual turn comes to fruition. That turn where they cast something but nothing happened. Fucking sending. As the group Bitches. that had been waiting in the other direction gets the signal that you have gone down rather than up and is giving chase behind you. A mass of hobgoblins appears. And I think that is a great point for us to end Fuck. tonight's session. Oh, you think so, Jeremy? You think that's acceptable? <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everyone. We find ourselves further embroiled in endless, endless combat. This is the first time that we've ever seen sending cast in combat. <laughs> <laughs> combat we, sending. We will see you next time for more Where Evil Lives Camp Firefield. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.